Valencia, Spanish, Ba Len Theta Ya, officially Valencia Valencian, Va Lencia, on the east coast of Spain, is the capital of the autonomous community of Valencia and the third largest city in Spain after Madrid and Barcelona, with around 800,000 inhabitants in the administrative centre. Its urban area extends beyond the administrative city limits with a population of around 1.5 to 1.6 million people. Valencia is Spain's third largest metropolitan area, with a population ranging from 1.7 to 2.5 million depending on how the metropolitan area is defined. The port of Valencia is the fifth busiest container port in Europe and the busiest container port on the Mediterranean Sea. The city is ranked at Gamma Plus in the Globalization and World Cities Research Network. Valencia is integrated into an industrial area on the Costa del Azahar Orange Blossom Coast. Valencia was founded as a Roman colony by the consul Decimus Junius Brutus Callaicus in 138 BC, and called Valentia Adetanorum. In 714 Moroccan and Arab Moors occupied the city, introducing their language, religion and customs, they implemented improved irrigation systems and the cultivation of new crops as well. Valencia was the capital of the Taifa of Valencia. In 1238 the Christian King James I of Aragon conquered the city and divided the land among the nobles who helped him conquer it, as witnessed in the Libra del Repartiment. He also created a new law for the city, the Furs of Valencia, which were extended to the rest of the Kingdom of Valencia. In the 18th century Philip V of Spain abolished the privileges as punishment to the Kingdom of Valencia for aligning with the Habsburg side in the War of the Spanish Succession. Valencia was the capital of Spain when Joseph Bonaparte moved the court there in the summer of 1812. It also served as capital between 1936 and 1937, during the Second Spanish Republic. The city is situated on the banks of the Taria, on the east coast of the Iberian Peninsula, fronting the Gulf of Valencia on the Mediterranean Sea. Its historic center is one of the largest in Spain, with approximately 169 hectares 420 acres. This heritage of ancient monuments, views and cultural attractions makes Valencia one of the country's most popular tourist destinations. Due to its long history, this is a city with numerous popular celebrations and traditions, such as the Falas featuring the traditional Spanish dish paella, which were declared as fiestas of national tourist interest of Spain in 1965 and intangible cultural heritage by UNESCO in November 2016. From 1991 to 2015, Rita Barbera Nola was the mayor of the city, yet in 2015, Joan Rebo from Coalicio Compromis, became mayor. Name The original Latin name of the city was Valentia IPA, Walanta, meaning «strength» or «valor», the city being named according to the Roman practice of recognizing the valor of former Roman soldiers after a war. The Roman historian Livy explains that the founding of Valentia in the 2nd century BC was due to the settling of the Roman soldiers who fought against an Iberian rebel, Viriatus. During the rule of the Muslim kingdoms in Spain, it had the nickname Medina Bu Tarab, City of Joy, according to one transliteration, or Medina at Tarab, City of Sands, according to another, since it was located on the banks of the River Taria. It is not clear if the term Balenciaga was reserved for the entire Taifa of Valencia or also designated the city. By gradual sound changes, Valentia has become Valencia, ba len theta ya, i.e., before a pausa or nasal sound, or beta len theta ya, after a continuant in Castilian and Valencia, va lencia in Valencian. In Valencian, the grave accent e grave contrasts with the acute accent e acute e, but the word Valencia is an exception to this rule. It is spelled according to Catalan etymology, though its pronunciation is closer to Vulgar Latin. Geography Location Valencia stands on the banks of the Taria River, located on the eastern coast of the Iberian Peninsula and the western part of the Mediterranean Sea, fronting the Gulf of Valencia. At its founding by the Romans, it stood on a river island in the Taria, 6.4 kilometres from the sea. The Albufeira, a freshwater lagoon and estuary about 11 kilometres south of the city, is one of the largest lakes in Spain. 
The city council bought the lake from the Crown of Spain for 1,072,980 pesetas in 1911, and today it forms the main portion of the Parque Natural de la Albufeira Nature Reserve, with a surface area of 21,120 hectares In 1976, because of its cultural, historical, and ecological value, the Generalitat Valenciana declared it a natural park. Climate Valencia has a subtropical Mediterranean climate with short, very mild winters and long, hot and dry summers, its average annual temperature is 18.4 degrees Celsius 63.0 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and 13.8 degrees Celsius at night. In the coldest month, January, the maximum temperature typically during the day ranges from 14 to 21 degrees Celsius 57 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The minimum temperature typically at night ranges from 5 to 11 degrees Celsius 41 to 52 degrees Fahrenheit. In the warmest month, August, the maximum temperature during the day typically ranges from 28 to 34 degrees Celsius 82 to 93 degrees Fahrenheit, about 22 to 23 degrees Celsius 72 to 73 degrees Fahrenheit at night. Generally, similar temperatures to those experienced in the northern part of Europe in summer last about eight months, from April to November. March is transitional, the temperature often exceeds 20 degrees Celsius 68 degrees Fahrenheit, with an average temperature of 19.3 degrees Celsius .7 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and 10.0 degrees Celsius .0 degrees Fahrenheit at night. December, January and February are the coldest months, with average temperatures around 17 degrees Celsius 63 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and 8 degrees Celsius 46 degrees Fahrenheit at night. Valencia has one of the mildest winters in Europe, owing to its southern location on the Mediterranean Sea and the Fern phenomenon. The January average is comparable to temperatures expected for May and September in the major cities of northern Europe. Sunshine duration hours are 2,696 per year, from 155 average nearly 5 hours of sunshine duration a day in December to 315 average above 10 hours of sunshine duration a day in July. The average temperature of the sea is 15 to 16 degrees Celsius 59 to 61 degrees Fahrenheit during winters and 26 to 28 degrees Celsius 79 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit during summers. Average relative humidity is 60% in April to 68% in August. Economy Valencia enjoyed strong economic growth before the economic crisis of 2008, much of it spurred by tourism and the construction industry, with concurrent development and expansion of telecommunications and transport. The city's economy is service-oriented, as nearly 84% of the working population is employed in service sector occupations. However, the city still maintains an important industrial base, with 8.5% of the population employed in this sector. Growth has recently improved in the manufacturing sector, mainly automobile assembly. The large factory of Ford Motor Company lies in a suburb of the city, Almasafes. Agricultural activities are still carried on in the municipality, even though of relatively minor importance with only 1.9% of the working population and 3,973 hectares 9 acres planted mostly in orchards and citrus groves. Since the onset of the Great Recession 2008, Valencia had experienced a growing unemployment rate, increased government debt, etc. Severe spending cuts had been introduced by the city government. In 2009, Valencia was designated the 29th fastest improving European city. Its influence in commerce, education, entertainment, media, fashion, science and the arts contributes to its status as one of the world's gamma ranked global cities. The Valencia metropolitan area had a GDP amounting to $52.7 billion and $28,141 per capita. Port 
Valencia's port is the biggest on the Mediterranean western coast, the first of Spain in container traffic as of 2008 and the second of Spain in total traffic, handling 20% of Spain's exports. The main exports are foodstuffs and beverages. Other exports include oranges, furniture, ceramic tiles, fans, textiles and iron products. Valencia's manufacturing sector focuses on metallurgy, chemicals, textiles, shipbuilding and brewing. Small and medium-sized industries are an important part of the local economy, and before the current crisis unemployment was lower than the Spanish average. Valencia's port underwent radical changes to accommodate the 32nd America's Cup in 2007. It was divided into two parts. One was unchanged while the other section was modified for the America's Cup festivities. The two sections remain divided by a wall that projects far into the water to maintain clean water for the America's Cup side. Topic: Transport. Public transport is provided by the Ferrocarriles de la Generalitat Valenciana (FGV), which operates the Metro Valencia and other rail and bus services. The Estacio del Nord North Station is the main railway terminus in Valencia. A new temporary station, Estacio de Valencia Joaquín Sorolla, has been built on land adjacent to this terminus to accommodate high-speed avenue trains to and from Madrid, Barcelona, Seville and Alicante. Valencia Airport is situated 9 km miles west of Valencia city centre. Alicante Airport is situated about 133 km 83 miles south of centre of Valencia. The city of Valencia also makes available a bicycle sharing system named Valenbici to both visitors and residents. As of 13 October 2012, the system has 2,750 bikes distributed over 250 stations all throughout the city. <laughs> Valencia public transportation statistics The average amount of time people spend commuting with public transit in Valencia, for example to and from work, on a weekday is 44 minutes. 6% of public transit riders, ride for more than 2 hours every day. The average amount of time people wait at a stop or station for public transit is 10 minutes, while 9% of riders wait for over 20 minutes on average every day. The average distance people usually ride in a single trip with public transit is 5.9 km, while 8% travel for over 12 km in a single direction. Tourism Starting in the mid-1990s, Valencia, formerly an industrial center, saw rapid development that expanded its cultural and tourism possibilities, and transformed it into a newly vibrant city. Many local landmarks were restored, including the ancient towers of the medieval city Serens Towers and Court Towers, and the Saint Miguel dels Reis Monastery s. Monasterio de San Miguel de los Reyes, which now holds a conservation library. Whole sections of the old city, for example the Carmen Quarter, have been extensively renovated. The Pasig Maritime, a 4 km 2 miles long palm tree-lined promenade was constructed along the beaches of the north side of the port Platja de les Arenas, Platja del Cabanal and Platja de la Malva Rosa. The city has numerous convention centers and venues for trade events, among them the Feria Valencia Convention and Exhibition Center Institución Ferial de Valencia and the Palau de Congres Conference Palace, and several five-star hotels to accommodate business travelers. In its long history, Valencia has acquired many local traditions and festivals, among them the Fallas, which were declared celebrations of international tourist interest Fests de Interés Turístic Internacional on 25 January 1965 and UNESCO's Intangible Cultural Heritage of Humanity List on 30 November 2016, and the Water Tribunal of Valencia Tribunal de les Agues de Valencia, which was declared an Intangible Cultural Heritage of Humanity Patrimony Cultural Inmaterial de la Humanitat in 2009. In addition to these Valencia has hosted world-class events that helped shape the city's reputation and put it in the international spotlight, e.g., the Regional Exhibition of 1909, the 32nd and the 33rd America's Cup competitions, the European Grand Prix of Formula One auto racing, the Valencia Open 500 tennis tournament, and the Global Champions Tour of Equestrian Sports. 
The final round of the MotoGP Championship is held annually at the Circuito de la Comunitat Valenciana. The 2007 America's Cup yachting races were held at Valencia in June and July 2007 and attracted huge crowds. The Louis Vuitton stage drew 1,044,373 visitors and the America's Cup match drew 466,010 visitors to the event. Education <inaudible> 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 Education system in Valencia is divided into four levels, each of which has several stages. One, early education, education infantil, preschool for children until three years old, kindergarten for children aged three to six. Two, primary education, education primaria for children aged six to twelve. Three, secondary education, compulsory secondary education, education secundaria obligatoria for children aged twelve to sixteen. Spanish baccalaureate, bachillerato, or vocational training training for students 15 to 18 years old. At this stage, students focus on particular subjects and prepare to enter a university. For higher education, university studies, only two levels of education are compulsory, primary education and the first stage of secondary education, at the end of which children obtain the secondary school certificate. Upon passing exams in the next stage, students obtain the Bachiller Certificate an alternative to the International Baccalaureate, which allows them to enroll in any Spanish university. All schools are either public free, or private the latter may also be partly funded by the state. The academic year starts the first week of September and ends in late June. Classes are usually held Monday through Friday for 7 to 8 hours a day, but the schedule depends on the particular school's program and the age of the student. Studying Spanish is compulsory at all schools, including the international schools, and English is typically taught as a foreign language. Demographics The third largest city in Spain and the 24th most populous municipality in the European Union, Valencia has a population of 809,267 within its administrative limits on a land area of 134.6 square kilometers, 52 square miles. The urban area of Valencia extending beyond the administrative city limits has a population of between 1,561,000 and 1,564,145, 1,705,742 or 2,300,000 or 2,516,818 people live in the Valencia metropolitan area. Between 2007 and 2008 there was a 14% increase in the foreign-born population with the largest numeric increases by country being from Bolivia, Romania and Italy. This growth in the foreign-born population, which rose from 1.5% in the year 2000 to 9.1% in 2009, has also occurred in the two larger cities of Madrid and Barcelona. The main countries of origin were Romania, United Kingdom and Bulgaria. Culture Valencia is known internationally for the Fales, Les Fales a local festival held in March, as well as for Paella Valenciana, traditional Valencian ceramics, craftsmanship in traditional dress, and the architecture of the City of Arts and Sciences, designed by Santiago Calatrava and Felix Candela. La Tomatina, an annual tomato fight, draws crowds to the nearby town of Buñol in August. There are also a number of well-preserved traditional Catholic festivities throughout the year. Holy Week celebrations in Valencia are considered some of the most colorful in Spain. Valencia was once the site of the Formula One European Grand Prix, first hosting the event on 24 August 2008, but was dropped at the beginning of the Grand Prix 2013 season, though still holds the annual MotoGP race at the circuit Ricardo Tormo, usually that last race of the season in November. The University of Valencia officially Universitat de Valencia Estudi General was founded in 1499, being one of the oldest surviving universities in Spain and the oldest university in the Valencian community. It was listed as one of the four leading Spanish universities in the 2011 Shanghai Academic Ranking of World Universities. 
In 2012, Boston's Berkeley College of Music opened a satellite campus at the Palau de Les Arts Reina Sofia, its first and only international campus outside the U.S. since 2003. Valencia also hosts the music courses of Musicion, the leading musical institution in the Spanish speaking world. Languages Valencia is a bilingual city, Valencian and Spanish are the two official languages. Spanish is official in all of Spain, whereas Valencian is official in the Valencian community. Despite distinct dialectal traits and political tension between Catalonia and Valencia, Catalan and Valencian are mutually intelligible and considered two varieties of the same language by the linguistic academies and governments of both regions, just under different names. Valencian has been historically de-emphasized in favor of Spanish. The effects have been more noticeable in the city proper where its daily use is favored by only 10% of the population, although virtually all know Valencian to one degree or another. This situation also applies in the city of Alicante, population 350,000, the southernmost section of Alicante province with 400,000 inhabitants, and the traditionally Spanish-speaking population in the western regions of the Valencian community. Whereas the language has remained active in the rural, coastal and metropolitan areas which have a population of 3.4 million. Ability to understand Valencian approaches 80% overall and fluency is 57% in a population of 5 million. If the Spanish-speaking regions with 500,000 are not included comprehension is about 85% and fluency rises to 62%. After the Castile-Aragon unification, a Spanish-speaking elite established itself in the city, the upper classes in Valenitian favored Spanish while the opposite was the case in Catalonia. In more recent history, the establishment of Franco's military and administrative apparatus in Valencia further excluded Valencian from public life. Valencian recovered its official status, prestige and use in education after the transition to democracy in 1978. However, due to industrialization in recent decades, Valencia has attracted immigration from other regions in Spain, and hence there is also a demographic factor for its declining social use. Due to a combination of these reasons, Valencia has become the bastion of anti-Catalan blaverism, which celebrates Valencian as merely folkloric, but rejects the existing standard which was adapted from Catalan orthography. Spanish is currently the predominant language in the city proper. Due to the education system, most Valencians know Spanish and Valencian, and either can be used in the city. Valencia is therefore the second biggest Catalan-speaking city after Barcelona. Institutional buildings and streets are named in Valencian. The city is also home to many pro-Valencian political and civil organizations. Furthermore, education entirely in Valencian is offered in more than 70 state-owned schools in the city, as well as by the University of Valencia across all disciplines. Topic. Food Valencia is famous for its gastronomic culture. The paella a simmered rice dish with meat usually chicken or rabbit or seafood was born in Valencia. Other traditional dishes of Valencian gastronomy includes fideua, arroz a banda, arroz negra, black rice, fartans, bunyols, the Spanish omelet, pinchos, or tapas and calamares squid. Valencia was also the birthplace of the cold ex-UFA beverage known as Orjada, popular in many parts of the world, including the Americas. Festivals Fallas of Valencia Every year, the five days and nights from 15 to 19 March, called Fallas, are a continual festival in Valencia. Beginning on 1 March, the popular pyrotechnic events called Masclates start every day at 2 p.m. The Fallas in Spanish is an enduring tradition in Valencia and other towns in the Valencian community, where it has become an important tourist attraction. The festival began in the 18th century, and came to be celebrated on the night of the feast day of St. Joseph, the patron saint of carpenters, with the burning of waste planks of wood from their workshops, as well as worn out wooden objects brought by people in the neighborhood. This tradition continued to evolve, and eventually the Perros were dressed with clothing to look like people 
These were the first Ninots, with features identifiable as being those of a well-known person from the neighborhood often added as well. In 1901 the city inaugurated the awarding of prizes for the best Fallis monuments, and neighborhood groups still vie with each other to make the most impressive and outrageous creations. Their intricate assemblages, placed on top of pedestals for better visibility, depict famous personalities and topical subjects of the past year, presenting humorous and often satirical commentary on them. The 19th of March at night Valencians burn all the Fallis in an event called La Crema. History <inaudible> Roman colony Valencia is one of the oldest cities in Spain, founded in the Roman period, c. 138 BC, under the name, Valentia Adetanorum. A few centuries later, with the power vacuum left by the demise of the Roman imperial administration, the Catholic Church assumed the reins of power in the city, coinciding with the first waves of the invading Germanic peoples Suevi, Vandals and Alans, and later the Visigoths. <laughs> <laughs> Muslim rule The city surrendered to the invading Moors Berbers and Arabs about 714 AD, and the Cathedral of St. Vincent was turned into a mosque. The Castilian nobleman Rodrigo Díaz de Vivar, known as El Cid, in command of a combined Christian and Moorish army, besieged the city beginning in 1092. After the siege ended in May 1094, he ruled the city and its surrounding territory as his own fiefdom for five years from 15 June 1094 to July 1099. The city remained in the hands of Christian troops until 1102, when the Almoravids retook the city and restored the Muslim religion. Alfonso VI of Leon and Castile, drove them from the city, but was unable to hold it. The Almoravid Mazdali took possession on 5 May 1109, then the Almohads, seized control of it in 1171. Many Jews lived in Valencia during early Muslim rule, including the accomplished Jewish poet Solomon ibn Gabriel, who spent his last years in the city. Jews continued to live in Valencia throughout the Almoravid and Almohad dynasties, many of them being artisans such as silversmiths, shoemakers, blacksmiths, locksmiths, etc. A few were rabbinic scholars. When the city fell to James I of Aragon, the Jewish population of the city constituted about 7% of the population. Christian conquest In 1238, King James I of Aragon, with an army composed of Aragonese, Catalans, Navarrese and Crusaders from the Order of Calatrava, laid siege to Valencia and on 28 September obtained a surrender. 50,000 Moors were forced to leave. The city endured serious troubles in the mid-14th century, including the decimation of the population by the Black Death of 1348 and subsequent years of epidemics—as well as a series of wars and riots that followed. In 1391, the Jewish quarter was destroyed. The 15th century was a time of economic expansion, known as the Valencian Golden Age, during which culture and the arts flourished. Concurrent population growth made Valencia the most populous city in the Crown of Aragon. Some of the most emblematic buildings of the city were built during this period, including the Sarens Towers 1392, the Silk Exchange 1482, the Mikulet, and the Chapel of the Kings of the Convent of San Dominic. In painting and sculpture, Flemish and Italian trends had an influence on Valencian artists. Valencia rose to become one of the most influential cities on the Mediterranean in the 15th and 16th centuries. However, following the discovery of the Americas, the Valencians, just like the Catalans, Aragonese and Majorcans, were unable to profit from participation in New World commerce due to their location far from the Atlantic coast. With this loss of trade, Valencia eventually suffered an economic crisis. <laughs> 17th century The crisis deepened during the 17th century with the expulsion in 1609 of the Jews and the Moriscos, descendants of the Muslim population that had converted to Christianity. The Spanish government systematically forced Moriscos to leave the kingdom for Muslim North Africa. 
They were concentrated in the former Kingdom of Aragon, and in the Valencia area specifically, they constituted roughly a third of the total population. The expulsion caused the financial ruin of some of the nobility and the bankruptcy of the Tala de Canvi financial institution in 1613. Topic: 18th century. The decline of the city reached its nadir with the War of Spanish Succession 1702 marking the end of the political and legal independence of the Kingdom of Valencia. During the War of the Spanish Succession, Valencia sided with the Habsburg ruler of the Holy Roman Empire, Charles of Austria. On 24 January 1706, Charles Mordaunt, 3rd Earl of Peterborough, 1st Earl of Monmouth, led a handful of English cavalrymen into the city after riding south from Barcelona, captured the nearby fortress at Sagunt, and bluffed the Spanish Bourbon army into withdrawal. The English held the city for 16 months and defeated several attempts to expel them. After the victory of the Bourbons at the Battle of Almanza on 25 April 1707, the English army evacuated Valencia and Philip V ordered the repeal of the privileges of Valencia as punishment for the kingdom's support of Charles of Austria. By the Nueva Planta decrees Decretos de Nueva Planta the ancient charters of Valencia were abolished and the city was governed by the Castilian Charter. The Valencian economy recovered during the 18th century with the rising manufacture of woven silk and ceramic tiles. The Palau de Justicia is an example of the affluence manifested in the most prosperous times of Bourbon rule 1758 during the rule of Charles III. The 18th century was the age of the Enlightenment in Europe, and its humanistic ideals influenced such men as Gregory Mayans and Perez Baer in Valencia, who maintained correspondence with the leading French and German thinkers of the time. 19th century The 19th century began with Spain embroiled in wars with France, Portugal, and England, but the War of Independence most affected the Valencian territories and the capital city. The repercussions of the French Revolution were still felt when Napoleon's armies invaded the Iberian Peninsula. The Valencian people rose up in arms against them on 23 May 1808, inspired by leaders such as Vicente Domenech el Palater. The mutineers seized the citadel, a supreme junta government took over, and on 26–28 June, Napoleon's Marshal Moncy attacked the city with a column of 9,000 French imperial troops in the First Battle of Valencia. He failed to take the city in two assaults and retreated to Madrid. Marshal Suchet began a long siege of the city in October 1811, and after intense bombardment forced it to surrender on 8 January 1812. After the capitulation, the French instituted reforms in Valencia, which became the capital of Spain when the Bonapartist pretender to the throne, José I, Joseph Bonaparte, Napoleon's elder brother, moved the court there in the middle of 1812. The disaster of the Battle of Vitoria on 21 June 1813 obliged Suchet to quit Valencia, and the French troops withdrew in July. Ferdinand VII became king after the victorious end of the Peninsular War, which freed Spain from Napoleonic domination. When he returned on 24 March 1814 from exile in France, the Cortés requested that he respect the liberal constitution of 1812, which seriously limited royal powers. Ferdinand refused and went to Valencia instead of Madrid. Here, on 17 April, General Elio invited the king to reclaim his absolute rights and put his troops at the king's disposition. The king abolished the constitution of 1812 and dissolved the two chambers of the Spanish Parliament on 10 May. Thus began six years 1814 to 1820 of absolutist rule, but the constitution was reinstated during the Trienio Liberal, a period of three years of liberal government in Spain from 1820 to 1823. On the death of King Ferdinand VII in 1833, Baldomero Espartero became one of the most ardent defenders of the hereditary rights of the king's daughter, the future Isabella II. During the regency of Maria Cristina, Espartero ruled Spain for two years as its 18th Prime Minister from 16 September 1840 to 21 May 1841. City life in Valencia carried on in a revolutionary climate, with frequent clashes between liberals and republicans. The reign of Isabella II as an adult was a period of relative stability and growth for Valencia. 
During the second half of the 19th century, the bourgeoisie encouraged the development of the city and its environs. Landowners were enriched by the introduction of the orange crop and the expansion of vineyards and other crops. This economic boom corresponded with a revival of local traditions and of the Valencian language, which had been ruthlessly suppressed from the time of Philip V. Around 1870, the Valencian Renaissance, a movement committed to the revival of the Valencian language and traditions, began to gain ascendancy. Topic: 20th century. In the early 20th century Valencia was an industrialized city. The silk industry had disappeared, but there was a large production of hides and skins, wood, metals and foodstuffs, this last with substantial exports, particularly of wine and citrus. Small businesses predominated, but with the rapid mechanization of industry larger companies were being formed. The best expression of this dynamic was in the regional exhibitions, including that of 1909 held next to the pedestrian avenue Lalbareda Paseo de la Alameda, which depicted the progress of agriculture and industry. Among the most architecturally successful buildings of the era were those designed in the Art Nouveau style, such as the North Station Estacio del Nord and the Central and Columbus Markets. World War I greatly affected the Valencian economy, causing the collapse of its citrus exports. The Second Spanish Republic opened the way for democratic participation and the increased politicization of citizens, especially in response to the rise of conservative front power in 1933. The inevitable march to civil war and the combat in Madrid resulted in the removal of the capital of the Republic to Valencia. On 6 November 1936, the city became the capital of Republican Spain. The city was heavily bombarded by air and sea, and by the end of the war the city had survived 442 bombardments, leaving 2,831 dead and 847 wounded, although it is estimated that the death toll was higher. The Republican government moved to Barcelona on 31 October of that year. On 30 March 1939, Valencia surrendered and the nationalist troops entered the city. The post-war years were a time of hardship for Valencians. During Franco's regime speaking or teaching Valencian was prohibited, in a significant reversal it is now compulsory for every schoolchild in Valencia. The dictatorship of Franco forbade political parties and began a harsh ideological and cultural repression countenanced and sometimes even led by the Catholic Church. The economy began to recover in the early 1960s, and the city experienced explosive population growth through immigration spurred by the jobs created with the implementation of major urban projects and infrastructure improvements. With the advent of democracy in Spain, the ancient Kingdom of Valencia was established as a new autonomous entity, the Valencian Community, the Statute of Autonomy of 1982 designating Valencia as its capital. Valencia has since then experienced a surge in its cultural development, exemplified by exhibitions and performances at such iconic institutions as the Palau de la Musica, the Palacio de Congresos, the Metro, the City of Arts and Sciences, Cidade de les Arts i les Sciences, the Valencian Museum of Enlightenment and Modernity, Museo Valenciano de la Ilustración y la Modernidad, and the Institute of Modern Art, Institut Valencia d'Art Modern. The various productions of Santiago Calatrava, a renowned structural engineer, architect, and sculptor and of the architect Felix Candela have contributed to Valencia's international reputation. These public works and the ongoing rehabilitation of the old city have helped improve the city's livability and tourism is continually increasing. Topic: 21st century. On 9 July 2006, the World Day of Families, during Mass at Valencia's Cathedral, Our Lady of the Forsaken Basilica, Pope Benedict XVI used, the San Cal's, a first-century Middle Eastern artifact that some Catholics believe is the Holy Grail. It was supposedly brought to that church by Emperor Valerian in the 3rd century, after having been brought by St. Peter to Rome from Jerusalem. The San Cal's Holy Chalice is a simple, small stone cup. Its base was added during the medieval period and consists of fine gold, alabaster, and gem stones. Valencia was selected in 2003 to host the historic America's Cup yacht race, the first European city ever to do so. The America's Cup matches took place from April to July 2007. 
On 3 July 2007, Alinghi defeated Team New Zealand to retain the Americas Cup. 22 days later, on 25 July 2007, the leaders of the Alinghi Syndicate, holder of the Americas Cup, officially announced that Valencia would be the host city for the 33rd Americas Cup, held in June 2009. In the Valencia City Council elections from 1991 to 2015 the City Council was governed by the People's Party of Spain Partido Popular PP and Mayor Rita Barbera Nola who became mayor by a pact made with the Valencian Union. Main sites Major monuments include Valencia Cathedral, the Torres de Serens, the Torres de Court S, Torres de Court, the Lotja de la Seda declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1996, and the Cidat de les Arts i les Sciences City of Arts and Sciences, an entertainment-based cultural and architectural complex designed by Santiago Calatrava and Felix Candela. The Museu de Belles Arts de Valencia houses a large collection of paintings from the 14th to the 18th centuries, including works by Velázquez, El Greco, and Goya, as well as an important series of engravings by Piranesi. The Institut Valencia d'Art Modern, Valencian Institute of Modern Art, houses both permanent collections and temporary exhibitions of contemporary art and photography. Topic: Architecture. The ancient winding streets of the Barrio del Carmen contain buildings dating to Roman and Arabic times. The cathedral, built between the 13th and 15th centuries, is primarily of Valencian Gothic style but contains elements of Baroque and Romanesque architecture. Beside the cathedral is the Gothic Basilica of the Virgin Basilica de la Mer de Deu dels Desamparates. The 15th century Sarans and Court Towers are part of what was once the wall surrounding the city. UNESCO has recognized the silk exchange market La Lotja de la Seda, erected in early Valencian Gothic style, as a World Heritage Site. The central market Mercat Central in Valencian Art Nouveau style, is one of the largest in Europe. The main railway station Estacio del Nord is built in Valencian Art Nouveau a Spanish version of Art Nouveau style. World-renowned architect Santiago Calatrava produced the futuristic City of Arts and Sciences Cidat de les Arts i les Sciences, which contains an opera house, performing arts center, a science museum, an IMAX cinema, planetarium, an oceanographic park and other structures such as a long-covered walkway and restaurants. Calatrava is also responsible for the bridge named after him in the center of the city. The Music Palace Palau de la Musica S, Palacio de la Musica de Valencia is another noteworthy example of modern architecture in Valencia. Topic: The Cathedral The Valencia Cathedral was called Iglesia Major in the early days of the Reconquista, then Iglesia de la Seu Seu is from the Latin seeds, i.e., archiepiscopal c, and by virtue of the papal concession of 16 October 1866, it was called the Basilica Metropolitana. It is situated in the center of the ancient Roman city where some believe the Temple of Diana stood. In Gothic times, it seems to have been dedicated to the Holy Saviour, the Cid dedicated it to the Blessed Virgin, King James I of Aragon did likewise, leaving in the main chapel the image of the Blessed Virgin, which he carried with him and is reputed to be the one now preserved in the sacristy. The Moorish Mosque, which had been converted into a Christian church by the conqueror, was deemed unworthy of the title of the Cathedral of Valencia, and in 1262 Bishop Andrés de Albalot laid the cornerstone of the new Gothic building, with three naves, these reach only to the choir of the present building. Bishop Vidal de Blanes built the chapter hall, and James I added the tower, called El Micolet because it was blessed on St. Michael's Day in 1418. The tower is about 58 meters, 190 feet high and is topped with a belfry, 1660 to 1736. In the 15th century the dome was added and the naves extended back of the choir, uniting the building to the tower and forming a main entrance. Archbishop Luis Alfonso de los Cameros began the building of the main chapel in 1674. The walls were decorated with marbles and bronzes in the baroque style of that period. At the beginning of the 18th century the German Konrad Rudolfus built the façade of the main entrance. 
The other two doors lead into the transept, one, that of the Apostles in pure pointed Gothic, dates from the 14th century, the other is that of the Palau. The additions made to the back of the cathedral detract from its height. The 18th century restoration rounded the pointed arches, covered the Gothic columns with Corinthian pillars, and redecorated the walls. The dome has no lantern, its plain ceiling being pierced by two large side windows. There are four chapels on either side, besides that at the end and those that open into the choir, the transept, and the sanctuary. It contains many paintings by eminent artists. A silver reardos, which was behind the altar, was carried away in the War of 1808, and converted into coin to meet the expenses of the campaign. There are two paintings by Francisco de Goya in the San Francesco Chapel. Behind the Chapel of the Blessed Sacrament is a small Renaissance chapel built by Calixtus III. Beside the cathedral is the chapel dedicated to the Our Lady of the Forsaken Mare de Deu dels Desamparates. The Tribunal de les Agues water court, a court dating from Moorish times that hears and mediates in matters relating to irrigation water, sits at noon every Thursday outside the Porta dels Apostles portal of the Apostles. Hospital In 1409, a hospital was founded and placed under the patronage of Santa Maria dels Innocents, to this was attached a confraternity devoted to recovering the bodies of the unfriended dead in the city and within a radius of five kilometers around it. At the end of the 15th century this confraternity separated from the hospital, and continued its work under the name of Cofradia para el Amparo de los Desamparados. King Philip IV of Spain and the Duke of Arcos suggested the building of the new chapel, and in 1647 the viceroy, Conde de Oropesa, who had been preserved from the bubonic plague, insisted on carrying out their project. The Blessed Virgin was proclaimed patroness of the city under the title of Virgin de los Desamparados Virgin of the Forsaken, and Archbishop Pedro de Urbina, on 31 June 1652, laid the cornerstone of the new chapel of this name. The Archiepiscopal Palace, a grain market in the time of the Moors, is simple in design, with an inside cloister and a handsome chapel. In 1357, the arch that connects it with the cathedral was built. Inside the council chamber are preserved the portraits of all the prelates of Valencia. <inaudible> medieval churches San Joan del Mercat Gothic parish church dedicated to John the Baptist and Evangelist, rebuilt in Baroque style after a 1598 fire. The interior ceilings was frescoed by Palomino. San Nicolau Santa Catalina San Esteville Temple the Temple, the ancient church of the Knights Templar, which passed into the hands of the Order of Montesa and was rebuilt in the reigns of Ferdinand VI and Charles III, the former convent of the Dominicans, at one time the headquarters of the Capitan General, the cloister of which has a beautiful Gothic wing and the chapter room, large columns imitating palm trees, the Colegio del Corpus Christi, which is devoted to the Blessed Sacrament, and in which perpetual adoration is carried on, the Jesuit College, which was destroyed in 18 1968 by the Revolutionary Committee of the Popular Front, but later rebuilt, and the Colegio de San Juan also of the Society, the former College of the Nobles, now a provincial institute for secondary instruction. <laughs> Squares and gardens The largest plaza in Valencia is the Placa del Ajuntamiento. It is home to the City Hall Ajuntament on its western side and the Central Post Office Edifici de Corius on its eastern side, a cinema that shows classic movies, and many restaurants and bars. The plaza is triangular in shape, with a large cement lot at the southern end, normally surrounded by flower vendors. It serves as ground zero during the Les Fallas when the fireworks of the Masclita can be heard every afternoon. There is a large fountain at the northern end. The Plaza de la Mer de Deu contains the Basilica of the Virgin and the Taria Fountain, and is a popular spot for locals and tourists. Around the corner is the Plaza de la Reina, with the cathedral, orange trees, and many bars and restaurants. The Taria River was diverted in the 1960s, after severe flooding, and the old riverbed is now the Taria Gardens, which contain a children's playground, a fountain, and sports fields. The Palau de la Musica is adjacent to the Taria Gardens and the City of Arts and Sciences lies at one end. 
The Valencia Biopark is a zoo, also located in the Taria riverbed. Other gardens in Valencia include the Jardins de Montfort S. Jardins de Monforti. The Jardí Botanic Botanical Gardens. The Jardins del Real or Jardins de Vivers del Real Gardens, they are located in the PLA del Real district, on just the former site of the del Real Palace. Museums <inaudible> 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 Cidit de les Arts i les Sciences, City of Arts and Sciences. Designed by the Valencian architect Santiago Calatrava, it is situated in the former Turia River bed and comprises the following monuments. Palau de les Arts Reina Sofia, a flamboyant opera and music palace with four halls and a total area of 37,000 square meters square feet. Loceanographic, the largest aquarium in Europe, with a variety of ocean beings from different environments, from the Mediterranean, fishes from the ocean and reef inhabitants, sharks, mackerel swarms, dolphinarium, inhabitants of the polar regions belugas, walruses, penguins, coast inhabitants sea lions, etc. Loceanographic exhibits also smaller animals as coral, jellyfish, sea anemones, etc. El Museo de les Chinsies Principe Felipe, an interactive museum of science but resembling the skeleton of a whale. It has an area of around 40,000 square meters square feet over three floors. Lemospheric, an IMAX cinema. S. Lemospheric. Museo de Prehistoria de Valencia Prehistory Museum of Valencia Museo Valencia de Etnologia Valencian Museum of Ethnology House Museum Blasco Ibáñez IVAM, Institut Valencia d'Art Modern, Center Julio González Julio González Center, Valencian Institute of Modern Art Museu de Belles Arts de Valencia Museum of Fine Arts Museu Fowler Fales Museum Museu de Historia de Valencia Valencia History Museum Museu Torre de Valencia Bullfighting Museum Movie Museu Valencia de la Ilustracio i la Modernitat Valencian Museum of Enlightenment and Modernity González Martí National Museum of Ceramics and Decorative Arts Computer Museum, is located within Technical School of Computer Engineering Polytechnic University of Valencia Sport Football Valencia is also internationally famous for its football club, Valencia CF, one of the most successful clubs in Europe and La Liga, which won the Spanish League in 2002 and 2004 the year it also won the UEFA Cup, for a total of six times, and was a UEFA Champions League runner-up in 2000 and 2001. The club is currently owned by Peter Lim, a Singaporean businessman who bought the club in 2014. The team's stadium is the Mistala, its city rival Levante UD plays in the La Liga after club was re-promoted after club was relegated previous season, its stadium is a Stadi Cidat de Valencia. American football Valencia is the only city in Spain with two American football teams in LNFA Serie A, the National First Division, Valencia Firebats and Valencia Giants. The Firebats have been national champions four times and have represented Valencia and Spain in the European playoffs since 2005. Both teams share the Jardín del Torreo Stadium. <laughs> Motor sports. Once a year between 2008 to 2012 the European Formula 1 Grand Prix took place in the Valencia street circuit. Valencia is among with Barcelona, Porto and Monte Carlo, the only European cities ever to host Formula 1 World Championship Grand Prix on public roads in the middle of cities. The final race in 2012 European Grand Prix saw an extremely popular winner since home driver Fernando Alonso won for Ferrari in spite of starting halfway down the field. The Valencian Community Motorcycle Grand Prix Grand Primi de la Comunitat Valenciana de Motociclismi is part of the Grand Prix motorcycle racing season at the Circuit Ricardo Tormo also known as Circuit de Valencia held in November. P. 
Periodically the Spanish round of the Deutsche Torenwagen Masters Touring Car Racing Championship DTM is held in Valencia. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Rugby League. Valencia is also the home of the Asociación Española de Rugby League, who are the governing body for rugby league in Spain. The city plays host to a number of clubs playing the sport and to date has hosted all the country's home international matches. In 2015 Valencia hosted their first match in the Rugby League European Federation C competition, which was a qualifier for the 2017 Rugby League World Cup. Spain won the fixture 40-30. <laughs> <laughs> Districts Cedat Vela, La Seu, La Ziria, El Carmen, El Pilar, El Mercat, San Francis. I example, Russafa, El Pla del Rime, Gran Via. Extramures, El Botanic, La Roqueta, La Petchina, Aroncapins. Campanar, Campanar, Les Tendites, El Calvari, San Pau. La Cidia, Marxalines, Morvedra, Trinitat, Tormos, San Antony. Pla del Real, Exposicio, Mestalla, Jom Roig, Cedat Universitaria Oliverita, No Moles, Soternes, Trace Forks, La Fontsanta, La Lum Petre, Petre, San Isidra, Vara de Quart, Safriner, Favara Jesus, La Reosa, Lert de Sanabra, La Creu Coberta, San Marcel Lee, Cami Real Catra Carreras, Montalivet, N. Courts, Melilla, La Font de San Luis, Narivella, La Punta, Cetat de les Arts i les Chances. Poblats Maritimes, El Grau, El Cabanyal, El Canyamaral, La Malva Rosa, Batero, Mitzere. Camins del Grau, Iora, Albors, Creu del Grau, Cami Fondo, Peña Roja. Algiros, Illa Perduda, Cetat Jardí, Amistat, Vega Baixa, La Carrasca. Benamaclet, Benamaclet, Cami de Vera. Rascania, Orioles, Torrefiel, San Urense. Benicolap, Benicolap, Cedat Falera. Other towns within the municipality of Valencia These towns administratively are within of districts of Valencia. Towns at north, Benaferig, Poble No, Carpesa, Cases de Barcina, Mauela, Macerojos, Borboto. Towns at west, Benamamit, Benaferi. Towns at south, Forndelcito, Castellar La Liberal, Pinedo, El Salar, El Palmer, El Paralone, La Torre. Topic. People born in Valencia and Valencia Province Joan Baptista Aguilar, D. poet. Saint Vincent Ferrer, the 23rd of January 1350 to the 5th of April 1419, powerful preacher of end times judgment and worker of one thousands and one thousands of miracles all over Europe. Concepcion Alexandre, educator and gynecologist. Pope Alexander VI, Pope from 1492 to 1503. Alfonso III, King of Aragon and Count of Barcelona as Alphonse II Juan Bautista Bayuco, 17th century painter Josep Maria Bayeri, linguist, poet and writer José Benlacher y Gil, painter Vicente Blasco Ibáñez Spanish realist novelist writing in Spanish, a screenwriter and occasional film director Nino Bravo, birth name Luis Manuel Ferry Lopez, 1944 to 1973, popular singer. Santiago Calatrava, internationally recognized and award-winning architect. Pope Calixtus III, Pope from 1455 to 1458. Gillan de Castro, 1569 to 1631, famous Spanish writer of the Spanish Golden Age. Pedro Carlos Cavadas Rodriguez, born 1965, pioneering surgeon. Antonio José Cavanilles, taxonomic botanist. Victor Claver, basketball player. Roberto Soldado, footballer. Paco Alcacer, footballer. David Albelda, former footballer. Vicente, former footballer. 
Maria Teresa Fernandez de la Vega, Spanish Socialist Workers' Party politician and the first female First Deputy Prime Minister of Spain Saint Vincent Ferrer, Dominican missionary and logician Joan Fuster, philologist, historian and writer Vicente Gandia painter, artist Luis Garcia Berlanga, film director and screenwriter Rafael Gustavino, architect and builder, creator of the Gustavino tile José Aturbi, conductor and pianist King James II of Aragon Salvador La Roca, comic book artist Joaquín Lorenz Fernández de Córdoba, Carlist soldier and politician Joaquín Manglano y Cucalo, city mayor and Carlist politician Osias March, poet Jonat Martorell 1413 knight and writer the author of the novel Tarant Lo Blanche Fernando Miranda y Caselas, Spanish-American sculptor and illustrator 1842-1925 Manuel Palau, music composer Antonio Paris Carbonell, Spanish expressionist painter and sculptor King Peter III of Aragon Peter the Great Raymond, composer and singer Joaquin Rodrigo, music composer Joan Royce de Carella, poet and writer José Royo, artist Ricardo Samper 1881-1938, politician Manuel Sanchez I. Guarner, philologist, historian and writer Luis de Santangel 1866-1927, finance minister Enrique Simonet, painter Josu de Solon Soto, classical music pianist Joaquín Sarola, painter, who excelled in the painting of portraits, landscapes, and monumental works of social and historical themes Ramón Tebar, conductor and pianist Enrique Valor I. Vives, grammarian and writer Joan Luis Vives, scholar and humanist <laughs> Twin towns and sister cities Valencia is twinned with <laughs> Friendship cities Chengdu, China Xi'an, China See also Archdiocese of Valencia List of tallest buildings in Valencia No Mistala Valencia City Council elections Prehistory of the Valencian community